Health 6, quarter 2, week 6 to 7. Proper waste management for a healthy community. Hello, Grade 6. I'm Teacher Grace and I will be your health teacher for today. How's your day, class? I hope you're all fine and happy. Are you ready for our lesson today? If yes, let's go and have fun learning. Our lesson is all about proper waste management for a healthy community. Our objective is to demonstrate practices for building and maintaining healthy school and community environments. Okay class, let's begin. Try to examine these pictures. What can you say about the picture? Correct! The girl in the picture throws the garbage in the right trash can. How about the next picture? Correct! That is a garbage truck. It collects segregated waste in our neighborhood. Great job, class! Now, I have a question for you. Do you throw your trashes just anywhere? Or do you throw them in the proper trash can? If you throw your garbage in the proper trash can, that's very good, class! If not, then you have to listen very carefully. Did you know that throwing your trash in a proper trash can is one way of practicing proper waste management? Yes, class! That is practicing proper waste management. Now, let's answer this activity. Kindly get your activity sheet and your ball pen. Direction. These kids are given the task to properly manage the wastes found at home, in school, and in the community. Help them manage the problem by connecting the correct picture. Time's up! Let us now answer the activity. Letter A, convert into a fertilizer through composting. Letter A is connected to the picture number 3 because leftover foods can be converted into fertilizers through composting. Next, put the waste in a sealed container and dispose properly by burying in specially built landfills or pit. Letter B is connected to picture number 2 because we need to dispose these materials properly to prevent harmful effects to human. Lastly, letter C, reuse the packaging. Letter C is connected to picture number 1 because these pictures can be used again for other important things. Good job, kids! Now, let's proceed to our lesson proper. At home, your parents may have reminded you to dispose your waste properly. In school, even in the previous years, your teachers have definitely taught you the importance of keeping your surroundings clean. Collecting recyclable waste such as old newspapers and bottles and waiting for the collectors to pass by your neighborhood so you can sell this in the junk shops. These practices are called proper waste management. So class, what is proper waste management? Proper waste management includes several activities which help the community and the environment become a clean, safe, happy, healthy, and productive place to live in. Generally, it includes the following. Disposal of waste, collection of waste, treatment of waste, transport of waste, 
reuse and recycling of waste, and prevention and control of waste. There are many ways to conduct proper waste management, whether you are at home, in school, or in the other places in the community. Here are some simple yet effective waste management systems. Take note class! The first one is waste reduction. Waste reduction refers to ways and means of reducing waste. But class, how can we reduce our waste? There are 10 ways on how we can reduce the waste. Which of these waste reduction ways do you do at home? Are there other waste reduction ways that are not included in the list? Please share them to others. Now, let's study the second waste management system. Reuse. Reuse is a magic word for reducing huge amounts of waste in landfills and city dumps. There are over a hundred useful ways to reuse waste at home in school and elsewhere in the community. And here are some ways on how you can reuse the wastes. Aside from the ones mentioned in the examples, can you cite other things that can be reused at home, in your school, or in your community? The third one is recycle. To recycle waste means to make another useful thing out of a waste item. This is different from reusing because things to be recycled are no longer suitable for their primary purpose but can still be used for something else. Let me share to you some recycling tips. Aside from the things mentioned in the lesson, what else can you recycle at home, in school, and in the community? Can you write your examples? Once again class, what are the three simple yet effective waste management systems? Say it with me class. The effective waste management systems are reduce, reuse, and recycle. Let us now proceed to our learning tasks. For learning task 1, classify the given waste into its proper type. Write your answers inside the garbage bin. I will give you 30 seconds to answer the learning task. Please check your work class. Did you get it right class? Good job kids! Learning task 2. Identify the concepts using the meaning of the word. 
Choose your answers in the box below. Answers. Did you get it right, class? Good job, kids! Let us now answer learning task 3. Identify the items that can be reused and recycled. Did you get it right, class? Good job, kids! For learning task number 4, read and answer the following questions. Write the letter of your answer and do this on your answer sheet. Answer Letter D. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Answer. Letter A, Composed. Answer, Letter D, All of the Above. Answer, letter D, all of the above. Answer, letter D, recycling. Did you get all the correct answers? Good job, kids! Let us now proceed to our last activity. Directions. In your answer sheet, complete the following statements. Job well done, class! Always remember, proper waste management includes several activities which help the community and the environment become a clean, safe, happy, healthy, and productive place to live in. Don't forget 
the effective waste management systems. Always practice, reduce, reuse, and recycle. So that's all for today, class. Once again, I'm Teacher Grace, your health teacher for today. See you in our next lesson. Goodbye!